Have you ever wondered what happens when a fiery, passionate Leo falls in love with a watery Pisces? You requested it and I'm really excited to talk about it, so let's get to it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mina. If you don't know me, I'm Mina. I'm a professional astrologer and I love sharing my knowledge with you guys. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe! Join us for our weekly astrological conversations that I have with you guys. And please give a like on this video, especially on my love compatibility videos. It tells the algorithm that you like this type of content and I love doing it for you. So it's a win-win situation. Thank you in advance. Remember, this is a pure energy reading. So if I say something that doesn't resonate, go do your homework. Figure out why it doesn't resonate with you and your interests chart. And remember, astrology is a complex art aspects matter, houses matter, the list goes on and on and on. So this video is for people who have their rising, their sun sign, their moon sign, maybe even their Venus and Mars in the sign of Leo and Pisces and you're in a Leo and Pisces relationship dynamic. All right, that's out of the way. Let's get started. It's really important to know that Leo is a very confident sign, a very confident energy, if not the most just vibrant vital energy because it's ruled by the sun it's fixed fire so leos are very loud and proud and very confident they're out there usually and they're unafraid to express themselves they're unafraid to be outwardly passionate and they just have a very firm because they're fixed they're stubborn sense of self-expression so in essence they're everything pisces is not Pisces is a sign where the ego is in major detriment, um, especially if it's in your rising sun or moon sign, especially the rising and sun though, more so than the moon, unless your moon is like conjunct the rising sign. See you guys, it all matters, these little details. But anyway, Pisces and the ego is a big struggle because Pisces could have all these passions and things that they want to do, but they're just uncomfortable with being on the stage in front of everyone with everyone looking at us. Like, that's just, we're not as confident, we're not as self-assured as a Leo person. So Pisces can really notice a Leo and just fall in love with their sense of confidence, with how they express themselves, unafraid. And yeah, because that's something Pisces wants to mirror. And usually when Pisces gets with someone romantically, because they're just like a blank page, because of that Neptune effect, Pisces is ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. Jupiter is really like the expansive emotional knowledge, expansive emotional spirituality, basically. And Neptune's where all the imagination and fantasy comes in, but also Neptune's like a filter, like an Instagram filter, like a mirror. And because of this, there's no walls to a Pisces. There's no protection unless they have a strong rising sign. So other people's energies can easily bleed onto a Pisces blank page, thus influencing them. So Leo is a really good influence on Pisces. That's a very good energy to bleed onto a Pisces, of course, expressed in the most healthy ways because it pushes a Pisces to be more out there, to be more unafraid, to be more confident, which it's like, it's just a great combination in this way. So yeah, the Pisces person can really notice this really beautiful, confident superstar Leo and just be like, wow, I want a piece of that. I want to be like that. What can I do behind the scenes? Because Pisces a water sign, very quiet. How can I attract this Leo to me in my Pisces way? And you know, Leo loves being adored, loves getting attention, loves to be listened to, enters Pisces. Pisces usually is an amazing listener, can make someone feel really heard, and has no problem loving people. Again, the Neptune effect, love everyone, have empathy for everyone. You know, it's a pretty good combination for Leo because Pisces will have no problem giving the Leo lots of attention, stroking the ego, and listening to them authentically. And Leo could get really addicted to that type of attention because Leo knows from observing Pisces, oh, this is a very nice person and nice people are good fans. I mean, they're good at giving others authentic attention from the heart because Leo is associated with the heart. They like, they like for important things to come from the heart. So this is how they're noticing each other, which is great. And you know, these two signs 
are most associating with the profession acting. Leo is a very performative sign. It can really just be unafraid, be on the stage and just like, I'm reading the script, let's just do it. I'm gonna express this role that I'm playing very loudly, very confident, and I'm gonna make you believe me because I am confident. Pisces is also associated with acting because of that Neptune effect, because of that filter. Pisces can really read a role, like wear the energy emotionally, and just like there's no separation between that role and them. You know how you read about actors who get stuck in a role and they have to have therapy afterwards? That's kind of how like Pisces and water energy would be in acting. So yeah, they can like both be very performative in a unique way. Again, Pisces can just wear the energy of the character and just like separate themselves from reality so they don't get nervous about the audience watching them and just perform. So yeah, they're both very performative. So they're both going to be very romantic. They're both super romantic signs. So Leo's going to offer Pisces a lot of romantic grand gestures. And Pisces will be very, very, very receptive to that because that makes them feel like they're living in their romantic dream because Pisces are dreamers. And oftentimes they do have a certain like dream vision of how romance should be and often are influenced maybe by their favorite books, love stories, media, pictures, images. So yeah, they're very validating to each other in this way. Pisces is very appreciative of Leo's grand romantic gestures for making the dream into reality. And Pisces is like, hmm, I can give you a dream. I can give you a touch of fantasy too because Pisces are really good at tuning into what people fantasize about. And they can just like step into that energy and live what you want them to be. So yeah, they're both like living the really high romantic life in this way. You know, Leo's very passionate, so they feel very impassioned by the Pisces because the Pisces is reciprocating really hardcore with that Neptune effect. And yeah, the Pisces is just like digging the dream becoming reality with a Leo. Um, and also Pisces can have this unattainable quality about them no matter what gender they are. And Leo, loves like proving themselves, loves saying, hmm, you think I can't get you? I'm gonna get you because they're fire and they're fixed. So once their passions are set on you, they're gonna get you. They're gonna do whatever they can. Even if they don't get you, they're gonna be able to say, I did everything I could. And the more unavailable you are sometimes, the more that excites a Leo because they're just like, hmm, I'm gonna win that shiny Pisces prize. You just watch me. And yeah, so that's not like a set aggressor. Like, I don't think Leo's always the initiator just because they're fire. Because Leo's also just like being adored. Again, they like attention. So I can see them holding back depending on their chart and just like letting the Pisces come to them. And being just like, hmm, after the fact, oh, this Pisces is giving me a lot of honest attention. Let me go see what's up with that. Let me then go pursue. And also Pisces could be the initiator. Pisces could, again, like I said in the beginning, observe the Leo and how passionate, how confident they are and just be drawn in by that and then just be like subtly putting themselves on the radar. You know, it's not like super direct, but Pisces has their way of getting things they want. And Pisces likes to be rescued because Pisces get in a lot of bad situations with people because they're so open-hearted and giving that they could get taken advantage of. And they kind of like when a romantic partner is willing to pull them out of a bad situation. You win a lot of points with the Pisces in that way. I'm not saying it's healthy, I'm just saying this is how it is. So a Leo, you know, they have that king queen energy and almost like a knight too. Like they like coming into the rescue and being valiant. Like look, look at my display of bravery. Look at my display of loyalty because they like, again, proving themselves in a very big grandiose way. Um, so yeah, imagine the physical intimacy, like these two people are highly romantic. So the Pisces is just going to be like, yeah, Leo, like validating them through physical intimacy, which the Leo just gets off on that. And the Leo is going to dig that Pisces is just like fulfilling this amazing role, like this amazing fantasy role. So it's going to be like fireworks physically for these two definitely because again Pisces is validating that Leo ego you guys know you love stuff like that I'm not saying you need it but you love it and the Leo is making the Pisces feel seen like they like being like that object of desire and praise so it's a very intense encounter physically so let's talk about where it could go wrong well again like a lot of these non-traditional couples what goes wrong is often what draws them together so they're drawn together 
by this big blown up projection of themselves. So Pisces just being this ethereal, kind, beautiful person. And then Leo being this just super sure of themselves, larger than life person. So where it could go wrong is if the Leo and the Pisces are not living up to what they're projecting. I'm not saying this happens all the time. It just happens whenever we're living our lower vibration selves. We've all been there. So yeah, a Leo could just be simply playing as a confident person. And then like Pisces sees the fantasy crack and like, oh, this actual lion is not so confident. Like, where was that confident Leo I fell in love with? This is not them. And then likewise, a Leo could be looking at the Pisces and saying, hmm, I thought you were this specific role. Like, yeah, you had these qualities, but now like this illusion is fading and I'm seeing that you're just something totally different. You're still a kind person, but there was a lot of deception here. So yeah, if they're not living up to what they were when they met, then that can be just a very toxic um, thing for them and they can fall apart in this way. They could lose respect for one another. And yeah, that, that could be a really sad place for this couple. And also Leo's a very loyal sign. Like they like attention from other people in their hands, but usually in a relationship, no matter what type of relationship it is, open, monogamous, just whatever, whatever rules there are, they're very loyal to those rules. They like proving themselves as a loyal person. And Pisces can be a little slippery. Leo can get really aggravated by the slippery nature of Pisces. Like, hey, I thought we had this type of relationship, but I see you swimming a little bit away from it. Like, why are you lying to me? What What's going on here, Pisces? Like, why are you stepping outside of our agreement? And Pisces can get really aggravated with Leo's narcissism. You know, Leo in their bad days can go from a really confident, shining, vital energy to narcissistic. And they could take advantage of that Pisces who always listens to them and accommodates them and validates them in that way, gives them that attention. And then they can just in turn not reciprocate to the Pisces because Pisces is someone that struggles with everything to do with Mercury because Mercury doesn't do well in Pisces. And that's all about connecting with other people through our mouths, through our ideas, through talking. And if a Pisces doesn't feel listened to by a romantic partner, that can be a really sad place for a Pisces because a Pisces person wants to know that their love is like the one person that might listen to them, that might like what they're saying, that might be into their ideas. They'll feel really seen in that way. And sometimes Leo can get carried away by a good listener and not reciprocate, not ask them questions back, not be, you know, curious about the other person's life. Even if they love them, they could just be caught up in that cycle sometimes. And this can make Pisces feel like, oh, Leo, you're just so selfish. You know, you're so narcissistic. Like, why don't you care about asking me stuff? Why don't you care about reciprocating to me like I do to you. So again, this can be another point of tension here. And also Leo could just be tired of rescuing Pisces over and over again. You know, they get off on it, but they also are like, come on Pisces, develop a stronger sense of self, learn how to say no, have boundaries. Like I'll come rescue you, but please like, Take care of yourself to some extent. I want to see that fire in you, Pisces. And Pisces is probably like, well, I don't have any fire, unless they're a fire person themselves in other parts of their chart. So yeah, Leo can just get exhausted from that because they're fixed fire, but they also like to continually feel impassioned by something. And Pisces, with all their water, can just like put out that Leo fire sometimes when they just have such a weak sense of self and just get taken advantage of. It could just make the Leo feel like, ugh. Like, I can't do this anymore. It's just too much. I can't keep on rescuing this Pisces. I'm exhausted. I'm depleted. My fire is gone. So yeah, there's a lot of unique issues here. Also, I think Leo is a little bit tied to reality than Pisces. You know, Pisces really struggles with day-to-day -day, um, responsible life. And this can annoy the Leo. I think the key here to make a Leo-Pisces dynamic work is honesty. Like, yes, be a beautiful projection, but also have moments of realness. Like, don't make the projection bigger than yourself because, yeah, then you won't be able to live up to it, Pisces and Leo people. And then you'll be with a stranger. There'll be nothing authentic about your connection, which is really sad because this is a very passionate, hot connection you could have with each other. So keeping it real will really help. And also just freely giving from the heart, realizing that when you support your Pisces Leo, that they don't have that Leo superstar sense of self that you do. And being able to empathize with that 
and Pisces, not taking your Leo, you know, for granted when they are rescuing you. Like, not only appreciate them, but learn to have that stronger sense of self. Like, please let their energy inspire and bleed onto you and learn from it. Um, Leo, keep an open ear. Listen to your Pisces because they always listen to you all the time and ask them questions because they're always asking you questions. I, yeah, so I think being aware of the differences between you and being willing to work on them and above all, keeping it real. And also Pisces, be loyal to your Leo. You know, whatever agreement you have, honor that because they are worth it for sure. All right, you guys, I hope you love this video. Let me know about your Leo Pisces relationship. I would love to hear from it in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.